We have uh, little faith in the intentions behind this uh, announcement. It can be considered a ceasefire uh, if the intent is to train their fire uh, with even more vengeance, uh, with even more ferocity, with even more lethality uh, against uh, the people of Ukraine. Of course, it was Russia that invaded his country, that invaded uh, Ukraine, but I can offer our perspective on this. From our perspective, there is one word uh, that best describes that, uh, and it's cynical. It's cynical uh, in large part because uh, it comes just days after Moscow perpetrated these New Year's Day attacks on Ukraine civilian infrastructure, its civilian centers, following uh, repeated uh, days of attacks against uh, similar targets. And I hesitate to even call them targets because, again, these are uh, civilian uh, centers in many cases. So as you can tell, we have uh, little faith in the intentions behind this uh, announcement. Our concern, it's a concern that you heard from Secretary Blinken uh, in his uh, end-of-year press conference a couple weeks ago, uh, is that the Russians would seek to use any temporary pause in fighting uh, to rest, to refit, to regroup, uh, and ultimately to, to re-attack. And so in that sense, it can be considered a ceasefire uh, if the intent is to train their fire uh, with even more vengeance, uh, with even more ferocity, with even more lethality uh, against uh, the people of Ukraine. If, if Russia were truly serious uh, about peace, about ending this war, uh, it would withdraw its forces from the sovereign territory of Ukraine. That is uh, what constitutes uh, an end to this war. It is what we have called on Russia to do. It is what uh, Ukrainians have called on Russia to do. It is what much of the world uh, has called on Russia to do.